So, um, Will Parks just joined us, and um, we have to describe the sunglasses you have on. <laughs> they they look like they're out of a 60s beach movie kind of thing. <laughs> they're red. Those are bad. I mean, I'm, I really like them. Hey, listen, white dudes can't wear those, so don't even try, <laughs> <laughs> don't even try with that. <laughs> they look like those are surfer glasses from yeah. the 60s, man. Those a lot cool. of these people, they call them clout glasses. Clout. Those like the the new thing with the kids nowadays, but yeah, I, I just like them. They're, they're like, cool. They're like my, I can't be seen. I mean, I know I can be seen, but <laughs> I don't want you to no, know I, that I'm looking at you. I like that. Got man. it. Those are, it's the, did you just get those? Um, No, I had these for about a year now. What yeah. brand are those? Who makes those? Uh, I got them from this lady out in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. I don't know the actual brand, though. I think for the first game, when the Seahawks roll to town, Rick and I do the games, don't you think Rick should wear a pair of those during the game? If I see you again, I'll give you some. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some. yeah I got go. about six pairs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All different colors? or? Uh, yes, I got the white white lenses with the yellow I mean, oh, it's, I got all different really? kinds of things. Yeah. Can I see those for a second? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure these will make me look ridiculous. Let's see. No, you look, uh, at, nah, you look you good. Look, you look pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 right. That's a good look for you. <laughs> it's like they belong. That's really? A good look. Yeah. They don't look as good as they do on here. Well, no, of course not. <laughs> so how's camp? Uh, I mean, pads today, but how's camp gone for you so far? Uh, pretty good. Um, you know, I was excited to get out there with the guys and get rolling and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, show what I've been working hard on throughout this off season. So I, I feel pretty good about the last couple of days that we've had together. What, what, what have you been working hard on? Um, well, you no, know, I, I spent uh, most of my off season with uh, Chris Harris out in Dallas, um, April and also throughout July. Um, so, you know, basically if you're with him, you're doing everything. Um, you know, it's the, the, the amount of training we did out in Dallas with uh, this guy named Ronnie Braxton, you know, it's been tremendously um, incredible because, uh, you know, it's not just, you know, the typical training days. You know, we get up at 530, we'll do yoga. Um, an hour later, we'll do a track workout. An hour later, we'll get in the sand. An hour later, we'll get in the pool. Another hour later, we'll get, you know, on the field. Then we'll use a hill. I mean, it's a whole different aspect of training. I mean, it was like, it's like a DB boot camp, you know, if you ask me. So it was pretty it was pretty good. Rick, I saw a video of that with uh, with Ronnie Braxton. It uh, it looked extensive. Yeah. And, you know, it's not, it's not a whole lot of wear and tear on the body, although we work out like five or six times a day. Um, I remember one of my friends asked me, how many workouts you got today? And I was just like, we only got two. He was like, only two. You know, usually that's a lot for, you know, a lot of the people that train nowadays. But, you know, I kind of, I was happy that I did that. I, that probably was the best thing for me throughout, you know, my career so far. What kind of workouts were you doing in Scottsdale? None. <laughs> but I only went out to Scottsdale in April, so. Uh, that's a fun town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to school out there, so it's always good to get out there and see the people. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know you did. So you uh, you kind of feeling like a like a veteran probably now. Um, not necessarily. A lot of young guys on this team. Yeah, we 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 do we do have a lot of young guys. Uh, you know, I just turned twenty four, so yeah, you know, Sunday, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, this Happy past birthday. Sunday. Happy Appreciate birthday, it, man. You know, so I mean, a lot of I got that from a couple of people, but um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm still, you know, learning and improving. I mean, a lot of those guys don't like to think that they're perfect, but you know, for me coming here and being in that locker room uh, in twenty sixteen when D Ware was here and a lot of those guys, um, you know, the the standard was already set. And they're kind of, you know, bringing it on this year. And you can you can tell that, you know, they had to get back to their old ways as far as Chris Harris and Vaughn and DT and E. You know, it's all those guys and Stu, man, and just, all those guys just coming in, you know, ready to work every day with a smile on their face. Stu just walked past uh, me in, uh, in the cafeteria. It's only it's not even 730 yet, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, I mean, you could just tell where people's mindset, are, um, you know, is that. So, I mean, it's it's a whole bunch of different things I can say, but I'm, I'm excited for the, you know, for the for the for this year to, to, to come. Broncos safety, Will Parks, our guest. How, if at all, in your mind, will your role change this year? Um, I don't I mean, to, to me, I don't think it really changed. I think, uh, you know, they're probably asking more of me, um, you know, just to, you know, not only make plays, but to, to be a leader. Um, even last year, you know, I can remember in a Miami game, you know, VJ just telling me like, it, you know, it's, it's time, you know, for you and Justin, you know, to, 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 to make your mark on, you know, this team and let people know that, you know, you guys are leaders. And, you know, he just kept telling us. I just remember that in the back of my head like it was yesterday. So that's kind of what I brought, you know, into this training camp. 
Um, other than that, man, I just think, you know, just going out there and making plays, you know, that's all a coach asks for you to do. You know, if you mess up, do it at 100%. You know, that's why we're in training camp now. We get to fix those mistakes. That way when not only the Seahawks come, but when the first preseason come, you know, next you know next week or whatever, you know, yep. you got to be ready for that. You know, whether it's, you know, playing 10 plays to 100 plays, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. So just taking it one day at a time and, and, and knowing that I'm blessed to be on this field for another year, um, whoever thought I would be here, you know, so I mean, I'm just I'm excited to come out here and play football between these white lines, you know, for the best fans in the country. Well, even though this is your third season yeah. and you're 24, yeah. that goes back to the veteran comment that I yeah. made. Now you're expected to be a leader on the team. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, like you said, um, so I guess so, yeah. The yeah. coach coach was with us here uh, earlier, and he talked about how uh, embarrassed everybody was about the season last year and that the uh, attitude has changed here in camp. You feeling that? Yeah, like I said, you can tell. You know, everybody, the body language. You mm-hmm. know, we have a, a, a what is it, over $10 million uh, renovations or whatever that went down in there. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, that alone, you it's know. It's nice in there. Yeah, what? It's crazy. We have cryo tanks inside of a, a facility. We have a, 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 a salt bath tank, float tank inside of a facility. Nice. Do you think any of that would help Rick and me? And can yeah, we use yeah, it like, yeah, right now? Yeah. We need to get in there. I mean, I mean I'm pretty sure if you ask Greek here, probably let you in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I mean, that just goes to show you the attitude that's around here. You know, in order to be better, you have to not only get better on the field, but the things around you, the things that's around you each and every day. You know, if your life is great, you know, football would be great. If your life is terrible, and obviously, you know the outcome of that. So, you know, just a lot of those things that can help, you know, with this team thus far. So, the guys were definitely mad and, and pissed and things of that sort, but. You know, I think the attitude here has changed. You know, you can't really talk about it. You know, last year, everybody kind of said the same thing. We're going to be good. We're going to do this. No, we're just going to come out here and let our pads do the talking, practice the way we're supposed to practice. You know, on game day, all the preparation leading up to that point should, to, should come out. Rick uh, talked about Vance stopping by. Also, Case Keenum stopped by. And, it, you know, it's early, and I know pads first time today. But there just seems to be a different feel from the offense this year with that dude in the huddle. Yeah, I was just telling a couple of people yesterday, he, 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 you can tell that he wants to, to be the man on his team, you know, not for himself, but for us. He's a selfless guy. First, first time I see him, hey, man, how you doing? How's the family doing? I'm like, you don't even know me. You know, that just goes to show you, you know, where he comes from. You know, he came from a good family, good wife, I'm sure, at home. And, and you know, out here, he's just a, he's a pro. You know, he's a leader, making all the right passes, you know. It's night and day from it's night and day for him, man. It's just you know, and you could tell he's helping the guys out in the room. You mm. can tell, you know, they're coming out with a different attitude as well. This is your first camp where you know going in who your quarterback's going to be, and that's got to give everybody just a little more confidence in what's happening here. Uh, your first two seasons, it was up in the air between Paxton Lynch and Trevor Simeon. Now you got Case Keenum locked in. Yeah, that's that's a like I said, that's that's. One of the things where, you know, the the that's where John Elway and them, that's what they're here for. You know, they come here to make those type of those type of moves. You know, to help the team. And you know, like I said, it, it, it's it, Case Keenum is a selfless guy. You know, so he's not at all worried about himself at all. You know, you can tell he's coming in. You know, trying to make an impact in all phases of the game in, in the team meeting. You know, he has a pen out when the coach is talking about you know simple things. He's writing down simple things and. You know, you Paxton is writing down simple things. Chad Kelly's writing down simple things. I mean, it's not even football related half the time, and you know they're writing things down. So I put out my notebook and I start writing things down because I'm like, you know, if, if my QB is doing that, you know, if all my QBs are doing that, then I have to do that as well because those mm-hmm. are the most reliable guys on the team. You know, they're the they're, they're the talking stick. Again, hey, final question for me for Will Parks. Uh, give us a uh, Reader's Digest version from a defensive backs standpoint on some of these. Young wide receivers. Oh man, those whew, some young playmakers right there. You know, every day they make some type of catch or not even a catch on film. You can see them just blocking throughout the play. Like, what's impressed you about, let's say, Cortland Sutton? Ah, oh, we all know he can get up. We all know he can get up. We've seen it throughout OTAs. You know, when people seen it out here, we weren't surprised. I mean, coming in, you know, the guy's what six four, six five, big dude, big body. You know, looking like DT already. He's a rookie. You know, so uh, it's, it's um, you know, just goes to show how much work he put in. I seen he was with Emmanuel throughout the offseason, putting in a little bit of work. Yep. Um, with uh, 17, that man got some Zuzus, like our first team coach. Zuzus. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he quit. How about Deshaun Hamilton? 
That's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, seven. Yeah, you're talking yeah, about yeah, seven. Yeah, that's yes, right. Yes, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh-huh. he, he got some Zuzus on him. Mm. Philly will, man. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. And, I appreciate uh, it. Appreciated the uh, the cheesesteak uh, recommendation at Philly. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, we took you up on that. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. You're the man. Good. Excellent. You're the man. And, uh, and it's going to be an exciting season, I think, for this team. Much better than last year. Looking forward to it. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. you, Thank Will. You guys. All right. Will Parks, Rick Lewis Show, 103.5 The Fox.